I had just gotten back a few days earlier from a long work trip. Never fight them. And those who fight wars. Wow. This storm is going to break. And when it breaks, it's going to be Bluebird, it's going to be Bros, it's going to be epic. And the vibe was kind of in the air earlier that day for a drop everything. Tomorrow is going to be it. And so the text started to fly and the phone call started to fly. And uh, it, it was on the books. I wake up and it was, uh, you know, it was early. It was really early. It was 5.30. We meet up with Duncan, we meet up with Ken. Bluebird, like three foot day. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. It's, it's going to be the day. For the first jump, we dug in. We built a nice big lip. Fire in the stoke is just all time through the roof. Ken sacked it for the first time. Ken just fell out of the sky, it was beautiful. And I look over and I see his bomb hole a hundred and something feet out and I'm just beside myself. Started off hitting one of the, probably the biggest jump I've ever hit before. Kept getting deeper and better and we were having one of the best sled days of our lives. And uh, the positivity and the stoke, it was all there. Those who build walls I pretend in forever they can defend them. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And those who damn streams. Like, all right, off to the next. Shot. And Grant just saw this snowboard kicker and he, he felt it. We've always pulled up to it. We've always stopped at it. We've always sized it up. I climbed up above. I think Duncan was below. Odo was on the other side. And, uh, you know, I saw him hit it. I knew the second I left the lip that I had overshot this jump. It turned into one of the worst days of snowmobiling ever. Can not good. Need medevac. Made it, made it. Ramp broke his back. We'll have ten right out. Took me to uh, the marine base to get to chopper. Wow, this is a real deal. Immediately, I knew I was breaking bones. The first thought that comes to mind is, do you ditch or do you stay on? Instantly, I had no feeling from the belly button down. I never passed out, I never got knocked out, but by the, by the time the sled had stopped, Odo was right there. Literally, the sled stopped and Odo was behind me saying, are you okay? Help the EMTs, put them in a heli, it's, uh, it's a hard one. Uh, we were able to get the chopper out there and, and uh, we worked as a team and, and he was able to, uh, to get out safely and, and get to the hospital in time and, and um, you know, start the process of recovery. Grant had an L1 burst fracture exploding his L1 vertebrae. They went in and replaced his L1 vertebrae with a cage and fused his T12 vertebrae to his L2 vertebrae. When I woke up out of surgery in the inpatient rehab, it had been about seven, eight, nine, it was nine days uh, that I'd been in ICU and then there I was in the inpatient rehab. And it was my first recollection of, of being awake and kind of cognitively aware after the surgery. And uh, I awoke in a bed where I couldn't feel anything from my belly button down. Shauna showed up, well, probably 30 minutes after the helicopter landed and said, everything's gonna be okay. And that was her last day at work. For rehab, we started out with uh, Becca Deal in inpatient rehab. And from Becca, we moved to Jen. Jen worked with us a lot initially in Reno at Renown. It's all so wrong, but I want it. Today's a big day. I had a lot of huge progress. A lot of things changed. We we got to uh, in in the wonderful healing hands of, of Lad Williams, mm -hmm. and uh, Lad up in Truckee Fowl Force Hospital has been just an earth changer for us. Roy Tuscany and the High Fives Foundation has been the foundation to start understanding 
what my healing rehab process etc would look like Roy walked through the doors sat down and started to answer every question yeah oh, that would look so good um, yeah Hey, you're easy for but you got this we're day two at Dr. Zoo's clinic down in San Jose. And uh, day one we did uh, acupuncture with Dr. Zhu and Dr. Khan and Dr. Mui, where we were doing seven, seven hours a day of physical therapy. My goal is 120% recovery. My goal is to come back to where I was and then push further. Simply put, I wouldn't be here without Duncan, Ken, and Ryan Odo. And more simply put, I wouldn't recover without Roy and the high fives. And even more simply put, I wouldn't make it without Shauna. I'm incredibly grateful for all of the therapists that we've had along this way, not only for the work that they put into Graham, but for the work that they've put into me. That lets us roll out into the garage. It's allowed us to turn our, our garage into a training facility where we can really do work. So for the next step of my therapy, my wife is my trainer. And not only is it, is it a, a team thing where she and I have been together from day one in this situation, but now it's a team thing where we're 100% on the same page with the rehab. If this were somebody else, Duncan, Ken, Odo, anybody, anybody that I ride with, would I change my attitude towards snowmobiling? I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't change. You can't be a different person. You are who you are. And life has risks and there is no way, no way at all I'm gonna live in fear. I land hard, I struggle, I hurt, I cry, I strive, I push, I give, I fall, I dream, I stand, I stretch, I work, I fight, I climb, I sweat. I step, I kayak, I ski, I pow turn, I walk, I hike, I roost, I ride, I run, I moto, I boof, I fly, I paddle, I dance, I thrive, I race, I learn. I soar, I hope, I focus, I rally, I live, I progress, I love, I thrive, I rise. I am sponsored by love.